Melissa Cotton is one of 1,500 Boise State University students who lives on campus. My favorite thing in housing is the connections that people make living in housing. Melissa also works for Boise State. It's her job to help residents adjust to campus life. I love when freshmen come in first year, you know, straight from home. We meet a lot of parents on move-in day and they're always very excited yeah. when they move in their child for the first time or even the second time. Each residential community at Boise State is unique from the traditional setup of towers and chafee to the newer residential halls. Kaiser is set up in suite style, so that four people each have their own room and then they share a bathroom and a living room. Jorge Cardenas lives in Kaiser. He and his seven suite mates share a lounge area but have their own rooms. This is uh, my dorm and uh, we all each get our own key to our, to our doors to come in. I can put anything up on the walls that I want just as long as I don't damage them. Um, it's, it's, community, it's, like, it's like back home, pretty much. Boise State offers a variety of housing options for the variety of student ages and interests. We're still making sure that uh, we're listening to them, that we are um, trying to meet their needs as best we can and their interest, and wherever possible, providing amenities that are appealing to them. A cornerstone of university housing is the living learning communities, which include a residential college with five faculty members who actually live in the residence halls with students, the global village concept where both U.S. and international students live and learn together, and the first year focus, which centers on the unique needs of students in their first year. It's been such a success this year, we're actually expanding it next year. And those students take three core classes together and live in the same residence hall together. So it provides a really nice community where students will gather together, study, and talk about class outside of class. So again, the residence hall is providing that great opportunity for informal and formal learning where they're drawing those connections. The residential college is an example of how connections can expand upon a learning experience. Zainab Hansen is an associate professor of economics. Zainab lives in Taylor Hall. She is one of five Boise State faculty members who lives in a residence hall. The unique living situation provides a number of opportunities students might not otherwise have with a faculty member. Zainab's students even run a student business together, a small coffee shop on campus called Dawson's 4.0. They get this additional experience of working together, living together, taking a college class together, um, that basically outlines and encourages one of the values and the mission of the, the living and learning communities. The residential college program has even become a model for other housing programs across the country. Just one of the living and learning experiences that connects students to resources and opportunities that meet their individual needs. It's just fun, it's exciting, it's uh, and sometimes life-changing uh, for different students, um, whether they suddenly realize what their true interests are or they meet new friends or they actually meet their life partner or whatever it happens to be. It's, an, it's a very dynamic uh, community. National research shows students who live on campus will be more successful academically and have a richer, happier college experience. As students like Melissa Cotton and Jorge Cardenas have learned, living on campus helps promote meaningful involvement and leadership opportunities and a way to connect and learn. You're going to make friends in classes and everything, but you're never going to have the relationships like you do if you, you know, met a new roommate or your next door neighbor. Well, you just make, you make lifelong friendships. All part of what makes a well-rounded experience at Boise State University.